Well, today is Jordan Davis Day. It would have been his 27th mm. birthday. All right, downtown Jacksonville, there's going to be a celebration for the life he lived, the impact he's made since, well, he was murdered. Leah Shields, live in James Walden, Johnson Park, right downtown, where everything's going to be happening. Good morning, Leah. Good morning. This is about 15 minutes from where he was murdered, but this is the park, James Weldon Johnson Park, where family and friends are going to be gathering here today to celebrate what would have been his 27th birthday. And as it is, as usual, what they do here, playing loud music to honor him. A life remembered for his death when Michael Dunn shot and killed the 17 year old outside a gas station after an argument about loud music. Has it come to this in our country that even loud music can get you killed. And so we're going to play our music loud anytime we feel like it. And we're going to do that as an homage to Jordan that you shouldn't have died. You shouldn't have left this world because you played your music loud. Nearly 10 years since his murder, his father, Ron Davis, continues to share about how his son lived. For Jordan Davis's birthday today, the music will be played loud in the heart of Jacksonville. Friends of James Weldon Johnson Park are sure of it. But yeah, we'll we'll turn it up. We'll definitely turn it up for Jordan. What Jordan's life meant is really about teaching tolerance. You know, unfortunately, he died tragically because people were not tolerant. His party here will also commemorate the foundation his father named after him. I will keep uh, as long as I have strength in my body to work on his behalf and to also take care of the youth of our community as much as I can. Eleven a.m. to two p.m. today, right here. There's gonna be jazz music here. There's gonna be free cake, free cupcakes. They really want this to be like a warmth celebration of his life, something people can all be happy about. If you don't know where this is, right across the street from City Hall, right here in downtown Jacksonville. Again, it's welcome to the public, and they want people to come down and celebrate his birthday. Leah Shields, First Coast News, on your side.